Hi everyone, I'm Taryn and this is Six Signs, part three of our little series on how to do things with it. <laughs> and in this part I was going to look at FM and I'm going to. FM, frequency modulation, isn't really frequency modulation in the synth world. It actually is phase modulation. It is pretty significant to understand the difference. Both of them have the same setup. You have a modulating wave, right? And you have a carrier wave. That's the second one here. Well different, huh? <laughs> and the first one, the modulator, modulates the face of the second one, the carrier. And whenever you hear that, you know it. And whenever you see it, you go, oh, yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> but um, it doesn't really show you what it's doing. I mean, it shows you what it's doing. <laughs> But you, it's difficult to understand if you, if you don't know it. And to illustrate that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the carrier and bring its frequency so far down that it becomes an LFO rather than an oscillator or sound. <laughs> okay, so at that point, it really looks like it is modulating the frequency of the carrier wave. But it isn't. Because right now it is a sine wave, it constantly offsets the phase of the carrier wave. So it sounds like different frequencies would be generated. But if I turn my modulator to a square wave, and unfortunately we only have a squarish one here, you will hear exactly what the difference is between phase modulation and frequency modulation. This is phase modulation, and what it does is it shifts the phase to 1, and then it stays on 1, and then it shifts it back down to minus 1, and then it stays on minus 1, and then it goes back up. And because it is a squarish wave, you have this little slope here. And when I play now, you will hear that little slope as a little thump. And there you can even see it. <laughs> Let me make this a bit more quiet. Ugh. There you can see it. Okay, so it's a phase offset. Now why is this interesting? <laughs> if I use a triangle, something funny is happening because it slows it down, it speeds it up and slows it down. Let me move the triangle to the center. Actually, it's 25. There. And now you have one side that slows it down and the other one that speeds it up. So that's a very confusing thing because one side of the wave gets faster and the other side of the wave gets slower. <laughs> this is a strange thing to even audibly understand. <laughs> but yeah, this is what's happening. somehow okay it, it it gets wilder believe me <laughs> that's why I was scared okay so now I turn the operator one back to normal and let's oh let's leave it on so we can actually see what's happening it's kind of fun and operator two still is on a sine wave and nothing has changed I'm going to take our uh, phase modulation depth and I turn on overdrive 10 times. And now what happens is, I'm going to go down, it can now exaggerate the phase modulation dramatically. And that allows us to do this. I know, it sounds horrible, doesn't it? <laughs> and you know what sounds horrible about this, besides, you know, if you don't like resonance? <laughs> what, what sounds horrible is that little kink that makes this buzzing. Sounds like Morse code. 
right? And this one we can mask out. So that way we can get a really smooth sound with a fake resonance. And let's do the masking now. So for that we use the third operator and we turn it up and we turn the second one all the way down. And I'm going to go into the third operator and I will pick a different wave. And that is TX4. I should mention that I'm right now using the Nightly from the 8th of February. The Nightly has these additional waveforms and I can't wait for the final release of that one because it's great. And so what's nice about this wave is it fades in softly, goes to one and fades out softly, so it masks very softly. <laughs> softly masking. Sounds like this. Oh, hang on. Sounds like this. Nobody needs this, right? But the moment we turn on amplitude modulation and let our carrier wave modulate the amplitude of our mask, this happens. Isn't that cool? And I'm going to turn the level one uh, operator one level up. And then you can see what's really happening. See, it masks just one half of that. But maybe we want to hear the other half too. So to do that, we're going to make a fourth operator. Again, we pick the TX4, but this time we offset it to the other side. Now, this is a bit weird, but check. Hey, hang in there. There. It goes the other way around. And this happens to be exactly 50%. So, base offset here of 50%. We crank the level up and we use the same amplitude modulation. Operator 2 also amplitude modulates operator 4. And then it looks like that. It's kind of cool, isn't it? So, yeah. So this is one interesting way of uh, knowing what you're doing with the FM. Uh, did I mention the very eerie things that happen when you use another ratio? I may have, I may not. But the point is right now, the carrier wave has just one wave in the so-called wave window. So when the triangle moves one half <laughs> faster and the other half slower, that's actually not slower, that's literally the other way around. So that means it actually mirrors the wave shape here. And I can show you <laughs> visually actually what that does by giving it, by giving the frequency a little bit of an offset. And then you can see how they both walk in the opposite direction. See that? So they are essentially mirrored. You wanted to get it really complicated. <laughs> no. Well, the funny part is if I change the frequency of my carrier wave to, let's say, two octaves higher times four, then one half will go higher in frequency and the other will go slower. So that's really strange. It stretches one and squishes the other. And because it's such a high frequency, it doesn't get mirrored yet. See? So now, if I give this a tiny little offset here, I think, logically speaking, they both should now walk into the same direction. They don't. They still walk in two directions. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Anyhow, the, so you know, what? Little, <gasps> maybe I edit this out. <laughs> Anyhow, but you see the general principle. Oh, 
also a curious thing to uh, play with, actually, if you wanted to. Could put an LFO on that. Oh, that sounds nice. Let me turn on Unisono for that. We're just playing now. Okay, uh, hey, <laughs> how are you doing? We're playing, yeah. Let's <laughs> just play. Okay, great thing that I did that because I can actually uh, warn you about another thing. If you use Unisono, and, and you probably will, if random faces off and we're doing some concrete things with phases, you get the one side is like, uh, you know, bright, and the other one isn't. Turn off random face, and now they're both equally smooth. This is a ton of fun, actually. That's kind of cool. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, let's go crazy. <laughs> and give this also some motion. It's like motion, 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 and motion. It's kind of funny. Let's see. What does it sound like? <laughs> Six signs, I'm telling you. It's just wild. And um, of course, we still have our operator feedback. And that, in, in, in a scenario like that, can do freaking crazy stuff. Uh, let's do the simple stuff and just take our carrier wave and give it a bit of a feedback. <laughs> kind of nice but we can do that with a mask too and that again gives a different kind of timbre <laughs> Just link all of these together. Mm. Well, let's just hook that to a macro. No, let's use a macro that that way you can see it too. Oh, no, you know what? I'm gonna put it on a mod wheel. Mod wheel, and we're going with okay envelope attenuation. Why not? Because maybe we have some fun with an envelope too. <laughs> so envelope and uh, attenuation. I'm gonna crank this all the way up, and we have to do this for all of them. Mod wheel. Envelope attenuation, and here too, a mod wheel and envelope attenuation. So now, because we're attenuating the envelope, the envelope needs the value, and we're gonna go crazy. <laughs> so now it's all the way up, and let's see what happens. I have to use both hands. <laughs> I swear what I haven't tried yet, and I'm a bit scared of it, <laughs> is I have not yet even dared hooking up a, a CC. Uh, uh, let's go with expression. We're going to hook up the CC to the envelope attenuation of our fake resonance of our face modulator. 
I'm gonna have her also go. Or should I go all the way up? Well, I don't know. It's scary. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going. Okay. So now I use my. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't show you in real time the the, the the MIDI modulation, which would be kind of fun to see. Not necessarily, but you can most certainly you will be able to hear it. sounded like if we didn't use some octave uh, offset. Kind of works. Yes. So I hope that gave you a little bit of an idea of of uh, what you can do with with the FM and AM together because they are like really best friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and but you can do so 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 much more with that. And maybe we'll cover that in another video. And then I can skip the theory stuff. And then you know we can have a little fun together. And that's all for now. I think. All right.